Today on Cabela's Deer Gear TV, Wade will show you where to set up your stealth cam, followed by showing you Conquest Sense's new heat seeker. And finally, we'll do some rattling during the peak of the rut. All this and more coming up on Cabela's Deer Gear TV. Scouting cameras, to me, really can provide so much intel. You know, there's so many different places and scenarios that you can put up scouting cameras at, whether you're looking at trails, you know, trying to judge which direction deer or any game species are coming from, feeding locations, whether you're putting out, uh, you know, attractive blocks like a quick draw or you're, you've got it near a corn feeder or a protein feeder or over a food plot. Scouting cameras are very effective around feeding areas. You know, this is an on-demand protein feeder that we use primarily from probably about the first of March till the end of September and then we don't use it anymore but it's a great place to be able to get lots of data on your herd whether you're looking at antler development you're looking at you know fawn recruitment you're looking at even how your turkey uh, population's doing setup wise for scouting cameras there's a lot of different things to keep in mind uh, you know first you've got to decide on how to mount it you know there's so many different ways to mount it you know a lot of these cameras come with straps you can use baling wire uh, you can screw things into the into trees but you know there's so many places out there where you just can't do any of that because there's not wood there's not a brush that allows you to do that and that's where something like the ground dogger by dead deer really comes into play this ground dogger system is part of the dead deer lineup and it allows you to be able to screw your camera mount in in a lot of those locations that you you know normally either one can't or two have to rely on a different type of a mounting system and in this case here i basically got both a corn feeder and a food plot now that i'll be able to get photos of where normally i couldn't even have come in from this angle you, know, you can see on this particular stealth cam i've got it screwed into a tree mount right here and it's triggering points probably actually a little bit too high probably i'd be better off and be suited to put it right around here i like things closer to around that waist high level i've actually got this one aimed at a feeder uh, along this power line and you can see they pretty much uh, blasted this area out it's pretty pretty well worn right here and it's a it's a location that you know i can monitor it all year long you know, once you get a scouting camera placed in a lot of locations, then you've got to kind of figure out how you want to set it up. I love to go into the custom settings on this particular model and many other ones as well. So once I get it set up to the exact way that I like to do it, you know, I want to know the date because that's very helpful for you as a hunter to be able to know what's coming and going. And in this setup here, it's so easy to change. Right now we're at the end of August, the 29th. If I need to change it, it's as simple as just hitting enter, and you'll start to see that month change. It'll be the same for the date and the year, and you can just adjust it up and down to exactly what you're looking at. Then when you're ready to go to the next setting, you just hit enter again. Then you start to scroll down. We look at our time. It's 9.42 in the morning. We'll go to the exact time zone that we're setting in. So whether you guys are hunting Eastern, Central, Western, Mountain, whatever, the time format, I like 12 hours. Some people like military time. They've got the option to set it up to that. Then you go down and I've got mine set up in the photo mode, which is what I'm looking for. I want it to operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week, because I'm looking to capture everything that's coming in and out of the exact area. Now this is a cool feature that I really like. You've got the option basically to set the quality of the photo that you want. How this plays a big role for a lot of people is, uh, you know, your memory card's only gonna be able to hold so much. Now, I typically use a 32 gig card on mine, but I like a very high resolution photo because I wanna be able to see everything that, you know, I'm looking at, but you can set it as low as two or as high as 14. You know, scouting camera set up for a lot of people, that's an addiction. You know, it's not uncommon for me to run 20 to 40 different cameras at multiple locations all over the place. And I can't wait to open them up, grab the, the cards out, put them in my computer and start studying them. And I mean, there's just so much fun things that can, can happen when you start looking at scouting camera photos. 
The Stealth Cam G45NG Pro is 10% smaller than the original G series and features a dull matte finish camouflage pattern providing no unwanted reflections. This premier scouting camera features 45 no glow IR emitters to help illuminate up to 100 feet out for great nighttime photos, allowing you better coverage than ever before. In addition, you can set up matrix advanced blur reduction so you're no longer getting those fuzzy out of focus photos we all despise. The camera also comes with video and photo settings, allowing you to capture the best images for your needs. The Stealth Cam 45NG can capture as many as nine photos every time it triggers. This feature enables you to get as many looks and angles on a game species as possible to help you plan for your next hunt. So, if you're looking for a top-of-the-line scouting camera, we highly recommend the Stealth Cam G45NG Pro. Stealth Cam, join the trail cam revolution. Deer Gear is brought to you by Cabela's. It's in your nature. Yamaha ATV and side-by-sides. Real world tough. Garmin Rhino 7 Series. Wherever you hunt, make it Rhino country. The full line of Yamaha ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles with class-leading durability and reliability. All real-world tough. It's in our stomping grounds, in our playground. It's in our sights, and our commitment. It's in him. It wasn't them, and it will continue with her. It's in my nature. Is it in yours? Many said that we were just obsessed when we started, that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. When perfection is your goal, awards come with the territory. In 2016, Ten Point and Wicked Ridge Crossbows collected an unprecedented five best-in-class industry awards. The Reverse Draw Carbon Nitro RDX, Best Crossbow by Field and Stream and Peterson's Hunting. The Forward Draw Turbo GT, Best Crossbow by Outdoor Life and Game and Fish. And the Budget-Minded Warrior G3, Great Buy by Field and Stream. Regardless of the features you want or the budget you have, Ten Point has an award-winning crossbow for you. The rut is the most time-sensitive part of deer season, where bucks set aside caution and focus on finding a doe in heat. Conquest Sense has come out with Heat Seeker, an innovative way for you, the hunter, to see when and where a doe is in heat, telling you exactly where to camp out in search of Mr. Buck. So this is what the strip looks like when you first start, and then you're gonna be putting some of the Heat Seeker liquid on there, and you're gonna basically cover this entire square. Now once you deploy the card into an area, what you're wanting is obviously a reddish color to pop up. And when you look at the entire setup here, this plastic bag or plastic covering is designed to keep that scent cone going up. So whatever has happened in this area is gonna go across our test strip and trigger it and tell us good or bad. You know, when I look at this particular scrape that I'm looking at right here, um, I stomped on it because I know there's a couple of big bucks that have been working this area. So I just was kind of curious on it. But to me, when I look at this, it's not super 
active from you know I don't this the sign is not real good there's stuff that has fallen off of this tree down on there it's not there's not recent scrape marks in there so I'm not surprised that the heat seeker didn't actually turn fully red here but I wanted to check because I want to know what's happening in this particular area and that's where as a hunter this is going to be such a valuable tool you can help eliminate locations by getting a negative reading as well as when you get a positive you know you're right where you want to be hunting you know, I talk all the time about hunting areas where there's lots of does because when you are in the rut, you want to be in those high percentage areas. Well, we're in one of those high percentage areas and we definitely know now in looking at our heat seeker that we've got a doe in this area that is, is ready to be bred. I mean, you can see it here. And the idea in this scenario is the doe is going to come to this scrape or on a trail or a feeding area and she's going to urinate and then that estrus that smell is going to be in there when you put this bag over it it's going to come up out of there and activate this and that's what you're looking for so we hit several locations and we got no results now we've hit an area that i personally know there was several does in i had some scrapes there but i'm kind of thinking in my mind i'm past that period i'm past the period where a lot of these does are going to be in estrus where they're going to be really receptive to be breeding but obviously not so that tells me exactly what i need to do climb up in that stand and I'd hope that doe leaves one of those big old bucks right on by. It's just another great tool from Conquest Sense to help you be more successful when it comes time to go hunting. Tree stands are awesome places to spend fall and winter watching the woods while dreaming of big whitetails. However, those scenic views and enjoyable times can turn deadly quickly if proper precautions aren't taken. No one plans to fall, but it happens. The good news is that commercial tree stands continue to evolve, making them safer than ever before. With these new features, we can avoid, or at the very least minimize, the possibility of mishaps. Here is something new on the market from Skyline Safety Systems. Skyline Safety System is redefining tree stand safety. Our revolutionary safety system could be the fastest and safest way to enter a tree stand, whether it be a ladder stand or a hang-on stand with the use of our sticks. The patented Skyline Safety System is made of lightweight, high-strength aluminum with two pivot arms that close using a pulley system and ratchet strap. Simply mount the Skyline Safety System on your ladder stand's back bar with universal mounting kits. Secure the tree bracket around the tree and place the stand up against the tree. The ratchet strap closes the pivot arms tightly around the tree, allowing you to secure your stand prior to stepping off the ground. This will eliminate what's called the death crawl. Everybody's familiar with it. It's where you place your ladder stand against the tree and inch your way up hoping it doesn't fall before you can secure the top. The Skyline safety sticks are also available for use with hang-on stands. Simply assemble, much like other climbing sticks, place the sticks up against the tree. The ratchet strap closes the pivot arms tight around the tree allowing you to secure your sticks to the tree prior to stepping off the ground. We also offer a lifeline securing system that allows you to safely secure your lifeline to the tree prior to stepping off the ground. Here at Skyline Safety System, we're committed to helping you return home safely to your family. Learn more and order yours today at SkylineSafetySystem.com. Deer Gear is brought to you by Conquest Sense, hunting and dog sense. Do all outdoors. Stealth Cam. Join the trail cam revolution. Arctic ice. We put the cool in coolers. The thing about public land is that most people hunt the same old beaten path. The thing about you is you're not most folks. Introducing the new TC Compass, only by Thompson Center. Follow your own compass with America's master gunmaker. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. That smells good. And then pouring each container. Once it's cooled, each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom from Conquest Scents. Stealth Cam. 
Proven reliability. Proven quality. Proven performance. StealthCam continues to push the boundaries of technology and innovation with its next generation of trail cameras. Proven performance in extreme conditions. Proven. StealthCam, join the trail cam revolution. The art of the hunt is not painted with a broad brush. Its eye is in the details. The note on the refrigerator. A set of broadheads, tried and true. The well-worn boots, soaked in dough estrus. And a Garmin Rhino, the only GPS with two-way radio. Clear the rhubarb out of the freezer. It's whitetail season in Rhino country. You put the cool in life. We put the cool in coolers. Arctic ice. During the summer months, it is important to maintain your constant supply of food and protein to your deer, as the warm weather can take a toll on a deer's nutrition. Wade has something new to show you from Purina that will help in supplying protein to your deer and our friends at Mummies have answered your most asked questions on keeping up with deer management. Let's hear from them now. Mummies is your one-stop shop. Besides being the largest Purina antler max dealer in the nation, Mummies is known best for the cleanest apple scented deer corn available anywhere. If it's feasible, both financially and labor-wise, year-round feeding is absolutely the best time to feed deer protein pellets. This keeps those animals on a constant level of nutrition and the results will soon be very obvious. During spring and summer, March through September, this is antler growth and doe lactation times. Now is when you need to be feeding a 20% deer pellet, such as Purina Antler Max 20%. When September arrives and bucks shed the velvet off their antlers and fawns have switched over to a diet other than the does milk, now you can switch to a 16% pellet is higher in fat such as Perino Rut and Conditioner. They no longer need the 20% protein but will use the extra fat to get them through the harder winter months and the rut. Getting started on a supplemental feed program should be well thought out and executed. It helps if you have an aerial map. Your protein feeder should be applied at a rate of one feeder for every 200 to 250 acres. These feeders should be evenly spaced across your property. Key points to look for are areas near water and cover. If hogs or cattle are present, your feeder sites will have to be fenced off. To do this, use 12 16-foot hog panels and 24 4-foot T-posts. Set a stake in a cleared area. Tie a rope with a finished length of 27-foot 6 inches over the stake. Pull tight and walk in a circle, spraying the ground at the end of the rope with spray paint. Now, start setting posts at 8-foot intervals around the painted circle. After posts are set, stand up and wire your panels to them. Leave one post out of the center of a panel so that you can use that for a gate. You will end up with a circular pin that is approximately 60-foot across. When you first start filling your feeders, don't fill them completely up. It will take some time for that deer to get used to the new feeders and the new feed. Mix pellets 50-50 with quality deer corn when filling feeders. Also scatter some corn on the ground around the new feeders. Feeders should be checked and filled on a regular basis and should never be allowed to run completely out. Feeders should be maintained and feed kept fresh and dry. After the deer get accustomed to the new feeders and feed, cut the corn out completely. Varmints such as raccoons can be a problem and should be controlled. Come early August, put a good game camera on your protein feeders. You will find at this time most of the activity will be at night and will be mostly bucks. You can use these pictures to compare the antler size of known bucks from year to year. You will see a difference in both antler size and body condition. This information can be used in your management plans for harvest of either trophy or cull bucks for the upcoming deer season. For more knowledge on deer management and mummies, visit mummiesinc.com. You know, one of my favorite ways to be able to really get a feel and a sense for all the game in an area is put out something like this quick draw attractant block. And it's as simple as setting it out and coming back and checking the scouting cameras to see what's coming in. You know, in this location right here, you never know what's going to show up on the scouting cameras. I mean, it's generally a pretty wide range of, of game that shows up. 
For me, a lot of the benefits include being able to ensure that the deer are in good shape in those off-season, high heat, uh, high stress times of the year. It also plays a giant role in helping the, the does be able to find nutrition to be able to feed their fawns. And for you guys in those areas that it's legal, you can place those out near and around your hunting areas to be able to hold deer. And finally, for you guys that are addicted to scouting cameras like I am, you can put them out in those areas and be able to see what's coming in and you'll be able to see instantaneous results once you get these blocks set out. Deer Gear is brought to you by Spentech, the new generation of game feeders. Sawyer Products, we keep you outdoors. Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. The Bubba Blade 4-inch gun hook. Featuring Mossy Oak Breakup Country, fashions a high carbon stainless steel blade built perfectly to meet your needs. Designed for effective precision cutting. The famous Bubba Blade Handle, featuring Mossy Oak Breakup Country, providing ultimate control when harvesting your game. Bubba Blade, the ultimate sportsman's knife. Ingalls got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers go with the original. Walker's continues to push the boundaries with innovations and technology in the shooting, sport, and hunting category. Introducing the all new Razor Series, maximum protection, industry leading noise reduction ratings, with advanced circuitry, SAC, sound activated compression circuit, true form, super slim profile, reliable, dependable, comfortable hearing protection fulfilling and exceeding the needs of every shooter. High-Vis Shooting Systems knows that your shooting performance matters in all conditions. All High-Vis shooters experience faster target acquisition with our durable LightWave sights. Featuring easily interchangeable light pipes, LightWave sights give your eyes the exact sight picture you crave. Shoot high biz. See what you've been missing. Every day your eyes are exposed to dust, debris, and wind. Only Wiley X removable gaskets block it all out. And your eyes remain safe. Wiley X, absolute premium protection for sportsmen. Walker's continues to push the boundaries with innovations and technology in the shooting, sport, and hunting category. Introducing the all new Razor Series, maximum protection, industry leading noise reduction ratings. With advanced circuitry, SAC, sound activated compression circuit, true form, super slim profile. Reliable, dependable, comfortable hearing protection fulfilling and exceeding the needs of every shooter. As we wrap up this episode of Cabela's Deer Gear TV, we've talked about deer management and we've also touched on the rut of deer season. So let's join Wade and Jeff Reynolds out at the ranch as they spend a day rattling to see if Jeff sees any shooters that he wants to harvest you know, strategies for what we're looking at doing here. It's gonna be covering a lot of ground. So we've got a pair of Yamaha side-by-sides gonna be going out. We're gonna cover a tremendous amount of ground. Uh, in some places, actually, we haven't even really hunted before. And the goal is gonna to be to get some areas where we can see a little bit. This is heavy Texas brush country. Uh, we'll ease up to some of the locations and then we'll hike, you know, maybe 100, maybe 200 yards and we'll sit down. We'll sit there for maybe five minutes and do nothing. We'll kind of let the environment settle down then I'll crash the antlers together aggressively and it's not uncommon right away at that first one to get a deer that may be bedded down or maybe cruising in the area to jump on his feet and come running in really fast. 
Then we'll grind the antlers together about every five minutes for about a 15, 20 minute set at each location and just kind of see what we're pulling in from long distances. So it's kind of a multifaceted approach that it's gonna be pretty aggressive. It's always exciting. There's always something going on when you're going rattling and I expect it to be pretty good. Conditions are about perfect. That was cool. That one, definitely a younger deer, but boy, he was a good I think good he's a four-year-old deer. I think that's a deer we've seen up there at the other stand. I really do. As Wade and Jeff move to their next spot, let's take a closer look at the muzzle loader Jeff is hunting with, the Thompson Center Strike. This is a Thompson Center Strike muzzle loader. This is the newest and most innovative gun in our muzzle loading line. This gun comes with an Armor Knight finished barrel. In addition to that, this is a striker fired muzzle loader. To activate the main spring of this gun, you just push this forward. And if for some reason you can't get the shot off, all you have to do is push this button and it deactivates the main spring of the gun. It opens like an over and under shotgun. And as you can see, this is the adapt breech system. The threads are on the outside of the barrel. With a lot of muzzle loaders, you get a lot of buildup and fouling around the breech plug. And that's a lot of people's complaint. On this one, since the threads are on the outside of the barrel, you don't have to worry about that. For more information about the Thompson Center Strike Muzzle Loader, go to tcarms.com. As the day continues without any luck, it's time for a quick lunch break before heading back out. That's how you keep your lunch meat, your drinks cold. Take you an angle soft side, a little arctic ice. You on a picnic in the middle of the day when you're rattling, it's, I don't know, 12, 15. We hit the field about seven today. It's still dark when we pulled in. We've had a lot of encounters. We've had a few few strikeouts. I had to refortify and let everybody fuel up. We had built-in grunt calls going on the last one. Everybody's stomach was growling so bad. <laughs> Four forty two. <laughs> Four forty two? Yeah. Nine hours and forty two minutes. <laughs> it's a good hunt right there. It's been a day. That's a great hunt. A lot of encounters, quite a few strikeouts too. I mean you have beat them together. <laughs> you have you've cut more wood today than than most sawmills <laughs> have in a week. We got a few few damages and a few dings there. I think, you know how football players get dehydrated and get cramped up? <laughs> I didn't know that rattlers could get dehydrated and cramp up about two o'clock. I was like, I need water. <laughs> well, you don't go at it lightly. Because one time I thought you was going to knock the tree down that I was <laughs> leaned up against. Hey, you got to make them, make them come in close. Hey, yeah, absolutely, it works. <laughs> they, come, they come running. Let's go load up and go find some food. That will do it here on Cabela's Deer Gear TV. We'll see you next time.